A test of endurance here for both of our players. We got Fal or um, Snake versus Richter. So Dom oh, versus I AC here. I think uh, I think AC is actually going to go Meta Knight. Oh, really? Meta? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. He's been bringing out the Meta Knight. Uh, little I like. Little. I actually like that pick. Okay, so yeah, my bad. I forgot AC can play. AC could Everything. also play Falco too. Um, AC has a very good Falco, known for his Falco in Smash Four as well. Falco did get buffs. I don't know how like committed AC wants to be to Falco in this game. Um, he has snake. Last time I talked to him about using Falco in this game, especially in bracket, it says like maybe he'll he'll bring it out for for counter pick. But mainly like. But Meta mainly snake. it's Meta Knight Snake. So, all right. He so always has that pocket, but we'll see if it ever comes out. Yeah, and I feel like this is a good time to bring out the Meta Knight. I feel like Snake, you, you have to play very different for Richter. Um, Richter's like just just the amount of range on the F tilt, the angle down fair and bare, right? And then you have I don't know. I just feel like Richter kind of beats Snake in his own game. Um, I'm not like super proficient at the matchup, but off stage, Meta Knight definitely hitting those check marks. Yeah, and I think that's really what AC is going to be going for. It's just going to be. Trying to get these trades here, one or two, like a forward air or even a nair to slowly push his opponent off stage, and then looking for a falling nair or a back air to really clutch it, even at a low percent. Yeah, and you know, AC, the one thing I will say that's great about any character versus uh, Richter is if you can force a juggle scenario with multiple jumps or any resources like that, just you can, you can generally recover high with ease and avoid the ledge trap, that's such a good trait to have versus Richter. Like, you, you see how far back Dom is drifting back just in case AC goes high. So yeah, he doesn't get, yeah. like, all these immensely free ledge traps or, like, not free ledge traps, but you know what I mean, like, ledge traps that you, there's no mix in terms of, like, juggling or ledge trap. Like, you got to take the ledge trap, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, I completely understand. But here we go. Now it's AC's turn. That tornado? He might be able to make it back. Nah. Oh, he has wow. double jump. Wow, he had double jump that whole time. So as a uh, as a character with a bad recovery, you have to be very, very good at resource management with the double jump there. This up he should do the trick. Dom not racking up too much percent, so mm -hmm. 36. And honestly, like, with the way that, that AC's been playing and really the, the kills that he's looking for, it really feels like he's trying to get a, just some like offstage play against Dom, where you can see like Dom's more standing Santa stage. Yeah, for the high recovery, but also just to make sure that AC doesn't have that opportunity. Yeah, we see Dom kind of, kind of like, oh, wow, from downtown. I I love how Dom played that entire stock. Usually you see Dom like ledge trapping by a roll or a little farther back, but he kind of dialed it like one more roll distance back um, against Mennonite just because of the potential for like the higher recoveries mm -hmm. and stuff like that and the multi jumps. So just ledge trapping and really doing a great job of keeping center stage control and it definitely showed on that last dog. Yeah. And you also got to think about like the, the dash attack zone from, from Meta Knight too. Like, we can already see AC throwing it out a few times. Dom acutely aware that that is the combo starter that AC wants to get, especially like around these mid percents. Definitely going to see the dash attack, the up air strings up B. Yeah, yeah, you see Dom like, yeah, that's going to be it. Tipper up smash from the holy water. Good, uh, good platform set up there from Dom. Oh yeah, definitely. And Dom played so well against the dash attack particularly. We even saw the last mm. dash attack get thrown out there. Perfectly spaced dash back to avoid the dash attack, right? Uh, so just really good awareness and neutral. Dom's yeah. playing. Dom knows what AC wants, and he knows when he wants it. So yeah. he's playing very well around it, and he is, you know, I mean, that was a very solid two-stock right there. Yeah, I was going to say, like, if, if AC does, in fact, end up sticking it out with Meta Knight, he's going to have to find another way to approach Dom other than looking for these dash attacks and trying to follow on him with Nair. Right. Uh, looks like we're actually seeing a counter pick from AC instead, you know, going for Snake. Yes. And uh, let's see if what you were talking about is going to come to light where, you know, Richter can actually play Snake's game at a, at a much higher level. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, it, it's, I'm assuming it's different just because the range that Richter can detonate the grenades is definitely going to be troublesome. Um, so we'll see. Maybe maybe AC is going to kind of go for more of a Taijutsu style kind of thing, you know, just like get up in there. Oh, that's my favorite dash. snake. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I mean, you can still sprinkle some grenades here. Yeah, I mean, well, I, I'm very curious to see it played. Uh, this is definitely not like a super common matchup, right? Right. So, um, I definitely haven't seen too much of this. 
So this will be you know, definitely interesting to see, like, matchup-wise, how both players and characters deal with each other's tools. Yeah, even though we see, like, a character change from AC, you can see that Dom is still respecting the death attack range. And yeah. he's, like, maintaining the, a certain distance between him and AC. Ooh, we're looking for the tipper up smash, but does not find it. Yeah, and Snake's heavy, but that tipper up smash has a bit of oomph on it. So probably still could have taken the stock there. There's the dash attack opening the, the Nikita. Woo! Yeah, that's going to be a very, very great tool off stage. So um, even if Snake can't really, like, play the super crazy runaway projectile game, um, you know, that Nikita off stage is definitely going to be an effective tool against Victor. And yeah, we see a charge down smash landing and covering the platform and hitting. But oh, oh no, that's not how you want to lose your stock. That's not how you want to lose that stock lead for sure. Yeah, I mean, AC Not wasn't again. in the best <laughs> position, but I mean, losing your stock to a directional air dodge after getting like nicked by something is always not a good feeling, right? Ooh, oh, I yeah. love that platform coverage with the down air. Yeah, yeah, very aggressive with the double jump as well. Here's the grenade, the Nikita, and we're bringing it back. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, for a second, I thought Snake got hit there. I was like, what? Oh, okay, SDs on both sides. Oh, no. It actually uh, looked like Dom was having trouble with the controller there. On fort, on fort, but you already know AC's gonna take that straight to the bank. And I mean, he really needs this game number two, so we're chilling back. Now, you know, depending on which project, like whenever it's a projectile versus projectile character, it really comes down to like who has the lead. Uh, this is a perfect example of like, you already see AC playing much, much different. Mm -hmm. He's definitely not the person that has to rack the percent needs to bring it back, right? So he can chill back, doesn't really have to worry too much, even if, even if Dom's like detonating any of the grenades or anything like that. Yeah, sitting comfortably in shield, approaching whenever he wants to, and then not only that, but applying traps up close and then punishing the, the air dodge. Okay. Man, the C way floor's on the, floor's on the stage too, at the roll distance. The way AC is bringing back the Nikita to cover like normal get up or ledge jump is really, really good. Gets a bunch of percent off these ledge traps, but watch it, watch Ooh. it! Okay, wow. still not enough. Yes, Richter very, very heavy, but the Nikita <laughs> straight down. I will yeah. go for I mean, eat seeking missiles. <laughs> right, right. I mean, uh, for the beginning part of that game, we saw him wrap it around towards the ledge a lot. I think that was a really good mix-up from AC, just kind of shooting the uh, missile straight down and out, uh, catching them off guard there. Right. So very solid two-stock from the Snake. And I mean, we're probably going to see the Snake for game three. Yeah, unless, yeah. No character changes, I'm sure. Unless here AC's in game coming three. in with the huge flex, but we'll see. Oh, man. The Falco? <laughs> the, yeah. <laughs> Falco now? Okay. We're getting too crazy. All right, we'll see what uh, stage we go here. Um, dang, I don't even. Was it Town last? Uh, I mean, they were all. Uh, they were all Smash. All, all PS2. Pokemon Stadium. Okay, yeah. okay. We're, this is a PS2 kind of set. So, both players pressing the B button. Let's get it. Oh, see, that's. That fair detonating like that, especially when you're where, when you're spaced with Richter, it is uh, very very nice. Oh wow, no no like with punish air there, uh, kind of above. Whoa, AC is getting crazy. Oh yeah, he's definitely going for the crazy play. He's going to go going for, for the, the edge guards. I go like for the edge guards. Go in terms of risk reward, in terms of risk reward, like the the risk reward is great there. Um, you can get the stock obviously with snake snake with those double jumps low off stage. You can also lose the stock as well, so you got to be very very careful there. Yeah, we see another jump from Dom. Uh, Jump into air dodge, which you know we've seen quite a few, quite a few of those uh, in game two as well. It definitely looks like AC has taken note of that. He continues to try and trap, but Dom is just maintaining control of this stage. Yeah, I mean it's like AC keeps going high, and oh, this first time the back air does come through. I think like in terms of juggling, I don't think Richter's too crazy. I could be wrong, but he's like pretty slow. The up air is disjointed, but it is like straight vertically above Richter. So I feel, ooh, oh my God, I'm telling you, man, he brings, the entire time. he brings it around town. Yep, smash, yep, gonna buy him a lot of time. The back air, wow, seeming safe there. I'm surprised that Dom was able to shield that grenade. With the amount of traps that were spaced out correctly, like, Dom was able to escape the ledge. Yeah, man. Oh, and there's the grab, eventually, eventually gonna get snatched up by Snake. 160 plus, true combo, down throw into the up tilt. It just gave him the go to sleep. Yeah. Oh, this is big damage. Wow, doesn't punish the directional air dodge in. AC again forcing a high situation and just throws out the beer burst, but Dom has the back air to cover the option. And yeah, that frame one grenade didn't even play a role in that kill. It just completely exploded and Snake was gone. Yeah, and you, you, you notice where Dom is kind of like playing this mid range with the max range forward air angle down, max range back air angle down, and it's really forcing AC to like 
kind of make a decision with dash attack, right? Oh, okay. Oh, did, he, did he do it? Did he do it? Did he do, do the thing? Oh, he did. All right. Looked like he actually had an opportunity to stick it, but yeah, it just yeah. fell right oh, off. Oh, yeah, yeah, he, 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 um, It didn't stick on the Richter, it went onto the ground. Who air dodge barely coming out, but man, I will tell you something. Dom, when he gets a hit, he makes it count. This Richter is moving. He just gets any singular hit, and he knows, like, it, it's pretty hard to push advantage state, at least like that, in, in, in terms of just, like, you, you got to almost pre-position and read the pace of the advantage state, right? right your your right. character is slow. You have projectiles and range to compensate for it, but your character moves on the ground slow. You know, like, we've, we've seen AC get knocked off stage, like, plenty of times. They're always, like, trying to recover uh, at a little bit higher. But that's one thing about AC's recovery is that I think maybe actually tripping up down by a little bit is that AC isn't committing to going fully high most of the time. He's usually right. ending it soon or early and then, like, trying to land on the ledge. So uh, Dom pulls back. Tries to get the get the left guard, but then he's just in the correct, incorrect position. Yeah, absolutely. AC not taking too much damage here. Takes a little bit of chip, but pretty much 0% for each player here. Oh, this is going to be big damage. He tries to get a second one, and oh, the fire barely goes out on that platform. Forward smash, big damage, and look at look at the percentage. 91%, where did this come from? 100. <laughs> now in the triple digits, oh and there it is. The Ollie oop to the up smash. On the platform, ready to roll. Man, the, the, the comeback on the boomerang, Dom is ready for it every time. Every single time, man. He is yeah. ready to hit that into the up smash. I mean, sometimes he'll mess up the tipper or whatnot, but like, man, he, he is very good at, and when you when you set up in the tipper up smash, you are killing characters extremely early. Like, mm -hmm. Snake dying at the percent is like pretty solid. You know, I want to add on a little bit more to that. Like, whenever you see that boomerang coming back and actually hits the, the the opponent, Dom will always like, usually he sets up for that.